Good morning everyone, I'm Sway Money and welcome back to Snowtopia. Last time we tackled most of the basics of Mount Alpha. Today we're going to start building on to the other entry points and keep expanding our resort. Just to get the formalities out of the way real quick. If you like this video, you know what to do. Subscribe if you like a couple of my videos and hit the bell if you really want to be super cool. With all that out of the way, let's get to the game. I want to start out with a quick correction from my last video. I did find the setting for edge scrolling. It's just called side navigation. I set that to no, and now I'm a much happier person. So that's kind of cool. All right. Uh, so I think we're pretty much full up here. And uh, we're going to be moving on to one of these... Probably this guy. We'll just move over here. Um, I want to I wanna bring up one more issue that I actually ran into. Our research, uh, if we look now... Oh, it does say uh, we're, we're at optimized. Yeah, okay, now, now it does work. I had to actually edit my uh, save file in order to get the specialty to stick. Something happened with the, uh, the way it saved our research. So the save file kind of said that we had picked a specialty, but it didn't save what specialty that was. So uh, we were in limbo here. We couldn't we couldn't actually research anything past this point. I just had to spend a little bit of time uh, searching through the save file to try to try to get it. Uh, so we're just going to go straight for the 16 person gondola over here. I want to start building those. Uh, what else? Let's see. First day training. I'm just going to queue up a bunch of these researches and just let them happen. So a little tip. If you want a full sandbox experience, uh, you can pretty easily, since there's no money in this game, just build a bunch of research uh, facilities, wait for enough volunteers to show up, and just uh, research everything in just like a handful of minutes. Let's go right here. We're going to do a 16-person gondola. I'm going to slap that down like that. We're just going to go all the way up to the top of this mountain here. Try to get us to a spot where we can actually, you know, do a bunch of stuff. Not super long, but at least this will carry a lot of people. Uh, ski resort. Looking for a mechanic. You think maybe we should put, like, another mechanic over here? How about we do that? Let's do... Mechanic. Plop him down right there. Yeah, this is getting built even though we don't have a builder's lodge over here. Uh we're gonna we're gonna do one more though. A lot of graphical flashing here. I don't know if you noticed that, but I am noticing that. Early access, guys. I do still want to get this to work though. stick right there there we go I don't know if that's gonna actually work out uh, or if they're gonna crash into this soup bar but sure there's a wonky little angle we had there let's see if anybody actually shows up here holy crap it takes a lot of volunteers Yeah, see how fast research goes? Like, you just keep going. Just <laughs> keep researching everything. And, uh, you'll just have it all soon. Okay, we got nobody coming in at this entrance here. I don't know what that's about. Is that because they don't like that slope? Is that because that slope doesn't, like, go back home? Maybe? Let's give them a different one. Is it really uphill right here? Why is everything uphill, guys? Oh, 
All right, let's see if that helps. Now that they have a way back, will they start coming in here? All right, slope is built. And we got nobody. Right? They wouldn't do that. I'm just going to keep building some stuff, and we'll see if anything just works. Why don't we just go straight down right here? <laughs> oh, it's blocked by the rocks. I think we can go back uh, down the back side, though. Come on. We got to find one little... We can do a narrow one. Yeah, we can. And then it's like green for the rest. So it's going to be a green slope. This is going to be great. I'm just going to build. I feel like this game is more of a creative game at this point right now than it is uh, a management game, which is a little sad. I'm more, I'm definitely more into management than uh, the creative side of games. You know, Planet. The planet style games are great, but I'm definitely a lot happier when there's a lot more management. Like Planet Zoo was so much better than Planet Coaster just because of the, the management that was required. All right, so now that's working. Yeah, like a few slopes. Maybe this like slope was that undesirable. I don't know why it would be. It really just looks like nobody's coming here. Uh, is that because we don't have any good buildings? Like what if we stick the mechanics lodge over here? All right, let's try this other side. This is, uh, gonna be a little less of a, uh, tutorial-y style video. I think a lot of my videos, I'm going to try to be as informative as I can be. Because I, I do enjoy doing that there he is too steep i like informing so that's that's going to be a focus of a lot of my videos uh on this youtube channel that's a nice long one So my wife asked me about uh, or asked her what she thought and one of her comments uh, of the last video was she thought my ski slopes were too too close to each other <laughs> and she asked is that how ski slopes are I said I don't know I've never been to ski, ski lodge I've never been skiing guys that's surprising I'm just going to make all of the slopes as close together as possible, just for my wife. Plus, I don't think this is going to work. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to use these anyway. Okay, so now this gondola has people coming in. While this one does not I don't know what's up with this place but but I, I I mean I I figured that we would have multiple maybe just like this slope is so amazing I have no idea I think this is just another uh, you know, just one of those bugs you know, just just a strange little bug thing and that's fine it's early access Let's uh let's bring this slope back down over here and meet up with that one. I think that's cool. And then maybe somehow we can do a little casual large slope coming down over here. I don't think 
this is as casual as I was hoping for, but. Close. I don't want to connect to that with the, the large slope. Oh, we made it. There's like a little bit of finagling that you can do uh, to get to get the slopes to kind of go upside down or them to uh, level out enough terrain or to just work out. Alright, so let's put another Builder's Lodge in here. That's probably why everything's taking forever. Work schedule. So we trade uh, autonomy for max volunteers. This can run on one volunteer. Alright, and then uh, I think up here. Let's go ahead and get like some food. Too steep. Come on, guys. I don't even know if that's going to get used because it's kind of... <laughs> the, the places you can put some of these things is, is fun. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just put some more stuff down here. The tea room. Kind of just working on reputation. Satisfaction is pretty shitty. Forty-five percent on the satisfaction. Uh, let's also make sure we got some ski lodges up here. Maybe one or two. If we can fit one more. There we go. Now this is cooking. <laughs> Look at all the dead people here. Oh boy. Uh Well these <laughs> maintenance required like all the Okay. I think I think we did it guys. This is <laughs> I don't think we get better than this. All right, I think we've gotten as far as I'm willing to go in this game's present state. I had intended on maybe three or four episodes here, but since I spent most of my recording time tonight messing with things and just trying to get them to work, I think we can shelf this until it receives a couple uh, updates. My thoughts are that the game is currently pretty fun as a sandbox game, but it lacks a lot of the management features that could keep me coming back. Without money, and a way of actually losing. The game feels kind of shallow, too shallow to scratch any sort of tycoon itch I might have. Uh, they have the ski resort builder part, but they need to work on the tycoon uh, part of their namesake a little bit. Uh, I'm excited to see where the game goes as it develops and receives updates during early access though. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, just a reminder, if you like this video, please leave a like. I normally stream on Twitch Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday at 2 a.m. Central Standard Time. YouTube is rather new to me, so leave a comment with what you thought of the video. I'll be improving, I promise. Thanks for watching, and please take it easy.